Hello there, everybody. Welcome on back to more Binding of Isaac anti-birth random streaks. You, you coward, honestly. Uh, Jacob and Esau, huh? RZFQ1DVM. This is, this is the first freaking random streak that I, I have been blessed with the ability to do in like two weeks, man. It's been close to two weeks and my, my run that I return on is goddamn Jacob and Esau. I'm a little salty. Uh, yeah, I'm a little, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit salty. Uh, but you know what? So be it, right? So be it. You want me to, to Jacob and Esau? I'll Jacob and Esau. I'll Jacob and Esau so friggin' hard, you won't even know. You won't even know what hit you. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, but anywho, you're probably like, Tyler, why have you not recorded Isaac in, in two weeks? brother here's why um you probably this is some extreme dodges extreme dodge very extreme dodge i don't know how we actually uh how we actually did that one let's give you that and i'm, I'm probably gonna min max poops on this floor for money but for right now uh just just let me get through the damn rooms the key allows us to go down to downpour great news great news very happy um if you didn't see, like, uh, two weeks ago, I got hacked on YouTube. I'm not going to talk about that in this video, although I, I can guarantee that a lot of you probably want me to talk about it in this video. Uh, because it's a, I mean, let's be real, it's a relatively Isaac conversation, you know, podcast style type thing to talk about. The main reason I don't want to is I've literally talked about it so often now. <laughs> that I'm, I'm tired of talking about it. It was a crappy experience to begin with, so to deal with it again, I'm, I just, I really don't wanna talk about it uh, anymore at this point. But if you're interested in it and you wanna know, you know what happened with it, then I've now retold this story in a ton of other videos on the channel and have a video completely dedicated uh, to what happened. So you can go watch that uh, if, you, if you really desire and really want to know uh, exactly everything that occurred but the biggest thing you know for me that occurred that that made things stupid and difficult after the fact was i uh let's let's do this unfortunate um i'm not even i don't think i'm gonna even bother i was gonna try and look for the super secret room i don't think i care because <laughs> i i actually i do think that it is against that wall but the super secret room is is pretty useless man and i just don't think that i care so pretty flies all around right now we know that pill's good we know a slew of the pills are good actually which is a pleasant surprise from where we've been in the anti-birth random streaks recently i'll say that uh but basically what happened was i i had a lot of difficulty getting my isaac saves back figured out because for those that have never messed around with isaac saves before they're stored in like 15 different locations, man. Uh, and it's it's a righteous pain in the ass to deal with them. Um, because they're stored in your documents, but then they're also stored... Your cloud saves are stored in your Steam folder. And then Anti-Birth has its own like save path that it uses. Just just do this. Uh, it doesn't actually matter who, who takes that one. So they're stored in all of these different locations. It's a pain in the ass to, to figure out where your saves actually are and it took me like almost two hours to finally like figure out from my old files figure out where uh this stupid save was that allowed me to get our our streak back i was really i was i reached a point where i was just like friggin i don't even care anymore uh i'll just <laughs> i'll just go and uh I'll just go and start from square friggin' zero. Like, I, I just genuinely do not care uh, about the streak at this point. But I did a little bit more work. I did a little bit more work, and eventually I, I got it back. And then I'll probably die in this video, and it will have been uh, two hours for absolutely nothing. And I'll cry myself to sleep tonight. Um, but let's, let's maybe pretend like that's not going to happen and think a little bit positively. Here's your, your secret thing. I don't actually know 
what our HP is like, but I, I feel like Esau is definitely going to be hurting. <laughs> I feel like he's definitely going to be hurting because he didn't have that much health to begin with. I think Esau is at one red heart right now. So you, you want to do everything in your power to prevent this guy from throwing rocks at you. The rest of the room is, is dead, more or less. Okay, let's... <laughs> I don't, dude, I don't know. This is, this is a little scuffed right now. Because I was going to start moving those guys to other sides of the room to do... Uh... There's no red hearts gone, right? Yeah. We, we would have lost our devil deal chance. I feel like I probably should be fighting the boss right now. But I actually really do not like the idea of that... Um... Okay, beautiful. Good work. Good work. Uh, interesting. Interesting. One is keys for the, the, the run. The other is teardrop charm. I don't even remember what it does. I think it's a luck upgrade. Uh, anti-birth items. Anti-birth items. This sucker is plus three luck. Okay, well, I mean, look. I completely forgot that I can just do this. <laughs> and then we get both of them. So that makes my life uh, insanely easy to determine what to do. Let's go to the item room. I almost, I'm telling you, I, I don't, don't shoot the messenger. I kind of want health in here. And that's exactly what we got. Um, so we are going to line these boys up so that we can just do a simple, is this, that's good enough. That's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, donkey's jawbone, not something I'm interested in. Uh, I'll be completely real with you. I don't actually care about donkey's jawbone. What I care about is uh, the halo. Oh, baby. This is quite good, too, actually. So that's extra damage now on Jacoby. Let's, let's do one more room. I actually feel quite good. I also do not have the HUD turned on. I'll turn that on in a second. That, I mean, that's not anything new with the computer. That's just called anti-birth doesn't save your freaking HUD ever. Okay, and we're also probably going to bomb the shop because I want the soul heart. Okay, there's your HUD. Happy freaking birthday to you, to me, to me. Have a very merry on birthday. Bomb him. That's enough money to do what I need to do. And it's quite simple. You just do one of those. Happy days. We should be chilling on HP, which means a devil deal here is is highly likely. Can can you hit me with the highly likely? This is also, you know, easiest boss on downpour by about a quarter mile. <laughs> that said, Rainmaker is also pretty easy, but if he spawns the stupid uh, fireflies, then he's a he's a pain in the ass too. But easy fight. Uh, item is meat. We're going to give that to Jacob. And then Devil Deal, we got Ceremonial Robes and Book of Satanic Bible. Okay, um, we're taking both. I gotta think for a second. I think we want this, this right now. Uh, cause that puts Esau at no red hearts, but three or four soul five four soul hearts four definitely four soul hearts we're, we're gonna we're gonna clear the room by the way Th this is a run that has a really good start to it like obviously we've got some some pretty solid items early damage upgrades jacob and esau is still dicey dude um especially when i i haven't played isaac for a week to two weeks uh doing doing I anything mean, i did the spelunking of isaac video which uh, i also died in so i suppose that that's it is what it is. The Everyday Spelunky, dude, it's, it's some good stuff. I'm going to say, if you haven't seen the Spelunky 2 series, I do highly recommend it. Um, Spelunky 2 is my game of the year right now. It's it's just incredible. It's easily one of the best games, uh, not only that I've played this year, but that I've played all time uh, ever. It's it's that good. Dude, our HP is... We're, we're stacked, dude. What was I worried about? We got, we got HP for, for freaking days right now. Not a singular bit of fear invested in my body. And we got a planetarium immediately. 
Double item as well. Uh, don't be Libra. Pluto. And... <laughs> what? What was the other item, dude? <laughs> this is super weird. <laughs> it's it's my young child along it's it's mom mom and your emo kid. <laughs> I don't know what the other item is that we got. Um well, you know what? We can figure it out. We can figure it out. It's not It's got to be I bet it, it's uh it's not Mercurius. I bet that it's uh Soul. I bet it's Soul. I I bet it's Soul. I bet that if we get to the end of the uh, floor, we're going to get sun card and and have the the beauty. That was infestation and book of despair. I, can't I just I could check here, huh? That looks like. I mean, dude, that looks like Uranus actually. Well, no, he would have gotten Pluto. So we got. Oh no, dude, that's friggin' Mars that we got. And then obviously Pluto went to Esa. Okay, it's a mess. <laughs> It's, it's just a, a big old mess. Also, these suckers are these too small now, dude. We, we can't reliably keep the two of them together. It's, a, it's some bad news, actually. I think it's some bad news. This is, uh... This run got very weird because of a planetarium. And yet, I'm, I'm still very pro every second of it. Just because it's hilarious. Having a very small lad next to a very big lad is... Is some is some good stuff. Is some good stuff. What do you got for me? Uh, that's correct. I don't know what you have for me because you're uh, you're a big old empty pile of pile of can't see jack diddly squat. So oh well, oh well. Uh, all HP we get goes to Esau from here on out, just because he's we, we got reliable uh, renewable health with Mister Jacob. But we do not have reliable good health with uh, Mr. Mr. Esau, so we'll, we'll get there. I'm honestly, dude, I'm, I am I had a lot of concern for a Jacob and Esau run. Apparently, I'm still cracked out of my mind, and I know exactly what I'm doing at any given moment uh, in Isaac. I guess Spelunky 2 is training me. Okay, let's take that with you. Do this. Take the HP, Esau, and we Audi will obviously be popping... Uh, We'll be popping our Book of Despair in the boss room for the tears up. But Spelunky 2 is real good. Uh, if you're you're not you know totally sure whether or not it's something that you'd enjoy, uh, then hey, that's what the Spelunking of Isaac is for. You can go check out the Spelunking of Isaac video. That way you get a little bit of both, right? You get a little bit of Spelunky, a little bit of Isaac. Gets you happy in both directions. Let's give it to, to Esau. It's Magic 8-Ball. Um... And then I proceeded to get fooled, which probably lost my devil deal. That's probably should have thought about that because that's a that's a horrendous play. Please, devil deal, still be there, or else I'll be sad. Okay, thanks for listening, Dad. And then Guppy's tail is totally fine. It's totally fine. Double bomb here. You're a coward, actually. There's a better way to word that. And we go down. We go down. Good life, dude. Good life. Good run. Very good run. I am happy. Uh, but hey, it's been a couple days since I recorded Isaac. Um, thanks for all the support on the channel anyway. I mean, as many of you know, Isaac does extraordinarily well on the channel. But this Blunky 2 uh, views have been just absolutely unreal. Uh, I did not expect it at all. And it's been uh, a beautiful ride. I hate lost contact, dude. So I just will not even take it. I think it's a, a trash tier item unless your rate of fire is like one. And then even then, I think it's still pretty bad. So uh, I just will elect not to take it. Esau with the luck down. Hate to see it. You really do hate to see it. He'll survive. Uh, but it's been good. You know, a little break from Isaac is never a bad thing. You know, we've had a couple of... Uh, some new news about repentance has come out, which is... Uh, Always a good thing. I made a little short video on that. Uh, still still looking to release in 2020. If Ed releases that game on Christmas, I'll murder him. <laughs> and I mean that in the most sarcastic way possible, but please do not, do not release Repentance on Christmas. I would like to actually spend time 
uh, with family on that day. But uh, it is... It's going to be a, a crazy end of the year for, for games as a whole. I actually, I want to talk about um, something related to that. Just like game, indie gaming in general. Because um, I think that there's there's been an interesting trend of late that nobody's talking about. And I, I kind of want to, kind of want to talk about it, right? So there's a game uh, that many of you have probably heard of at this point because it's it's freaking shaking the gaming world. Uh, it's a game called Among Us, right? And I've played Among Us. Uh, we play it on the Wednesday Wednesday Wholesome Verse streams on Twitch. Uh, super fun game. It's a social deduction type game where uh, crewmates have to get tasks done and then oh my lordy, that's insanely good. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, don't take the card yet. We got another devil. Oh my god, dude. Um, okay. So, easy. Uh, we'll do that. And then... Uh, you know what? Frig it. I, I actually have zero issues taking, uh, Bloody Lust here as well. It's a good run, man. It's a very good run. Do I have anything else I want to do here? Mine's one? No, I'm outie. But... The crewmates have to kind of get tasks done uh, around the ship, which involves splitting up and, and going to different locations, teaming up with people. And meanwhile, there's, you know, two imposters or, or more, depending on your settings or less, depending on your settings. Hey, don't do that. Extremely rude. Who do you think you are? Running around chasing stars. Freaking loser collecting your jar of hearts. Tearing love apart. But do 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 Okay, it's... I don't even... What the hell is that song? I don't even know what song I uh, was just referencing. Which is probably not a great sign for uh, my Alzheimer's. I don't have Alzheimer's. Um, anywho, Among Us. Great game, right? Really, really good game. Came out of nowhere, to be honest with you. Uh, the game came out like three years ago. Um... And at one point, it apparently had a concurrent playership of, like, six people, which is not even enough to do a standard Among Us game. Um, but somewhere along the line these past couple of weeks, uh, to a month, I suppose, uh, the game had this random surge, right? Where all of a sudden, it felt like everybody and their mother was playing it on, on YouTube and Twitch, primarily Twitch. Um, just because the live streaming aspect of it, I think that it's easier to get a group of streamers together than to get a group of, of people solely focused on YouTube recording, right? So, this game's been everywhere, and, and everybody's been, been having a blast with it, uh, and for good reason. The game is extremely fun. I don't actually need Unicorn Horn, so we'll just leave that be for right now. Uh, the, the game's extremely fun, and... What I'm really finding the most interesting about it is it feels like there's this trend recently uh, with indie games and and popular streamers, right? Um, look, I know where my market stands, right? I'm not playing Fortnite. I'm not playing Call of Duty Warzone. I'm not playing, uh, you know, League of Legends or, or anything like that. And... I think that for the most part, when it comes to popular content on YouTube and Twitch, uh, and I, I'll, I'll use Twitch primarily, because I think YouTube has a, a little bit different audience at times, but uh, this is actually weird. Our little guy is faster than us, so I think if we do this, maybe... Okay, this is even weirder. Um, you get that. I think our little guy's faster than... I, I don't know how it's actually working. They, they appear to be kind of the same. I think Esau has more damage than us, though, so it doesn't really make sense to give him more rate of fire as well, but maybe more... Have one person be, be super stacked? Does that help us more? I don't know, dude. Just... just Look, it's it's anti-birth random streets. We're not here to talk about Isaac. Shut up, Tyler. Talk about uh, Among Us instead. Anyway... It feels that recently, uh, popular streamers are gravitating towards paid indie games now. You know, Among Us is a, is a paid game on Steam. It's $5. Uh, another one that I've noticed is, you know, Fall Guys, right? No, so Fall Guys was free on, 
It was free on PS Plus, but not everybody has PS Plus. Uh, and that game also just extremely popped off uh, in this, you know, third quarter of 2020, right? Even second quarter, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I, you tend to see that the top at Twitch are these these free-to-play games, right? Your, your Fortnites, your War Zones, your League of Legends. Uh, what are some other you know super big titles that are the top at Twitch? There, there's a bunch of them, right? There's a bunch of them, and I think it's it's interesting to see this this shift. And I think that for the most part, uh, the reason why these games are even the top is not because you know Fortnite's a better game than the Binding of Isaac, per se. It's not that even, you know, Fortnite is family-friendly, whereas Isaac is not. I think it's Fortnite's free, and, and people will always gravitate towards what they don't have to spend money on, right? And I think it's, it's interesting now that you're seeing content creators kind of move away from that style, right? You're, you're seeing people playing Fall Guys, which is a $20 game on Steam, uh, from a from a you know smaller indie company of, of Devolver, right? Same company that uh, does Enter the Gungeon. Same company that does a bunch of other indie games, right? Uh, I do think that we are going to go for double double health generation right now. This is kind of disgusting, actually. Feel very good about the future of this run in its current state. It's also a battery charge. I'm actually going to use that on Jacob as well because then we could get both of the both of the active items to the same charge and then that will just allow us to uh that'll allow us to be real convenient popping both of them at the same time life will be good i think that's a, a great plan we're also going to let esau give his health because he's got a little bit more and now they're they're equal feels good dude feels good this run's going just swimmingly just swimmingly but you know now you're seeing indie indie games being at the forefront of twitch on some days uh you know one of the ones that i've seen recently you know pretty big name streamer dr lupo right uh good guy donates a lot of money to charity every year um has a, a very cute child as well that's not it's not really relevant toward the conversation and doesn't really make you a good human being but I mean, his son is quite adorable, so I, I cannot, you know, say much beyond that. But he's been streaming Hades recently, which is uh, a roguelite by Supergiant Games. Extremely good. We played it for a little bit on the channel as well. Um, but, you know, that's that same genre as a game like Isaac. Uh, and I'm sitting here and I'm going, you know, what would happen if streamers, you know, these big name streamers, well, what if Ninja started to play The Binding of Isaac, right? And you start to see this this gradual shift to you know a very different form of content, right? Because I think that uh, for the most part, there, there's very unique content being made on Twitch and YouTube in terms of the the people making it. You know, you, you got you got montage clips a lot of the times of of your Fortnites and your War Zones. In terms of a game like Isaac, you know, sure, you had some pretty ev edited content back in the day by, by Tier Grace, right? But for the most part, this is a game that, that most people are doing kind of the long-form commentary that I'm doing, right? What if we start to see this shift where uh, a game like Isaac is getting more coverage in the super popular Twitch scene? What, what if we see that... You know, other other smaller indie games start to see this, and now you're getting this you know much greater spread of uh, games gaining popularity out there. I think it's wild to think about. It's it's one of those things where uh, you know going back to Among Us. Among Us released uh, a blog post a few weeks ago, and they were like, "Hey, just so you guys know, the success that we're having is just absolutely phenomenal, but we we kind of want to do more." Right? We kind of want to do more, and we're not really happy with where Among Us 1 sits in terms of our ability to do more. So we're planning on making Among Us 2, right? And everybody celebrated, and they were like, oh, it's awesome. There's a sequel to this awesome game uh, coming soon. And I'll be honest, I kind of looked at it, and I was it was a little bit of a head-scratcher to me. Uh, because I was going, man, you got a, a super successful game right now. Um, and... 
there's a lot of issues with it too right you know at the time the servers were super jacked up you know you had to like to get a game at night you had to log on to the european servers for the game just to to find a server that you could play on uh there were some glitches and stuff still in the game and i'm going man you guys are focusing on among us too when you have this huge following for among us right now well they've now completely changed their tone uh and they said you know hey we we canceled among us too we're gonna do yo you ready for this freaking play where is there's my little guy so i want to line them up like so put down a bomb we're gonna get all of the money from that while also opening the secret room that's just big brain dude that's just big brain that's all that that boils down to I also am going to keep it now, which makes it significantly less big brain because now it's just, uh, I took a trinket. But at the time, I was not planning on taking it, so uh, it was big brain. Call it, call me big brain, chat. My, my skull is extremely large because it has to hold uh, such a large brain inside of it. But the devs of Among Us are now like, hey, you know, we're planning on uh, just focusing on making content for Among Us. Uh, kind of rewriting some of the code of the game to, to make it work and a ton of people are, are kind of giving them some crap for it and they're like you know why not profit on going for a, a, a new title right you know clearly you have a large chunk of people that are more than willing to spend uh, another five dollars or whatever you you set the price at right uh, willing to buy among us too why not just go for the the bank of money on that one and i think that it's almost indicative oh dude that's that's psychedelic mushroom uh, this thing's a disaster um <laughs> it's it's always been a unique item that's for sure so i i believe that it will maybe stay like this for a while it can get pretty yeah so it, it gets it's pretty weird that's a luck down i believe what are you telepills that actually went surprisingly well wow you teleported me to the other side okay this is a little trippy um look that the mushroom it's it's a good time i've ran into that fire i believe three times just so everybody is well aware of my immense skill that i have at the game oh lord it just got much more wiggly as i went through that room this is this is how to die IRL while playing Isaac, by the way. That's beside the point. Uh, hey, we're back to normal. Happy days are here at last. There's our item room. But uh, I just I, I think that there's something to be said for devs that are recognizing this is such a jacked up room to do this in. <laughs> you son of a gun. <laughs> of course I managed to lose out on the one that I actually uh, wanted there. But we're at full HP, dude. We're so friggin' strong. We're, we're actually just the, the strongest lads. I should have popped that on, on the other guy, to be fair. We're so good. We're so freaking good. Um, I think there's something to be said for a dev that recognizes that they're in a really unique situation, right? They're in a position where a game that they put their heart and soul into for three years, because they were still, like, doing updates for the game when nobody was playing it and and kind of nurturing a, a dead game for the most part, right? Um, there's something to be said for devs that recognize that, you know, they the right thing to do in this scenario is to just continue to, to grow the game that has given them the success instead of trying to make a new one, right? And I think that it's a, a good indication of that shift that gaming is going through right where you're seeing these indie developers that that just care so much about the success of their games right and i, I don't want to say that you know triple a titles don't have that same you know vibe right because there's definitely triple a titles where the the people working on the game care a lot about the game right i think recently you, you see that with uh cyberpunk cyberpunk is absolutely going through a, a they're going through a crunch time right now to get the game done but they're genuinely caring about having that game perfect right but then you look at other companies you look at like you know the fifas of the world and the nba 2ks and the 
You know, I'll even argue Call of Duty is significantly better. Uh, can't Suicide King come out of those? I don't think... I don't think that's a good move for us. This run is too good. If Suicide King come, can come out of that, then I, I do not want to uh, push my luck with that. Maybe they take it out of the pool, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to even consider it. I don't even want to consider it. But some of these other AAA titles, they, they just don't really seem to care about. You know putting heart and soul into the games and then it shows in the quality of the game right you know i look at some of the greatest games of all time that i've ever played are, are games like you know spelunky and hollow knight and isaac and gungeon where you have a developer who is, is putting his heart and soul into the game listening to the community on things and it's it's a completely different it's a different vibe when you eventually play the game because you can tell that uh just all of this work has gone into it and i think that the communities also play a part in it too because I, I think that there's plenty of games that are you know in my eyes masterpieces that the community has then turned on a little bit and i think that that's something that will always occur with video games uh i especially you know it, it's funny i say this I was on Twitter the other day, and I, I genuinely saw somebody uh, comment on a post, and they were like, Among Us is stupid. It's such a bad game. Why would anybody play such a dumb, stupid game? And it's because some people, I don't want to call them out by name, but cough, cough, you know, angsty 11-year-olds, feel the need to just hate everything. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. As soon as something gets popular, there's an edgy 11-year-old that it wants to be the person that says, I hated this when it was cool kind of thing. And then in, you know, five years when he decides that he actually wants to act uh, like a normal 16 year old, then he's going to turn around and he's going to go, oh, damn, uh, Among Us is really cool. It's the same thing that happened with Minecraft, right? You know, for a long time. And then, I mean, today uh, was the announcement that Steve from Minecraft was in Smash, uh, which is still wild and my brain is relatively broken. Uh, after seeing that news, but uh, Minecraft had the same thing, right? Minecraft went through a period of time where everybody was, this game is stupid and for kids, it's for children. Uh, Minecraft is so dumb. And then, you know, Fortnite came out and all of the people that were mad at Minecraft because it was the most popular game on the planet uh, went to Fortnite instead. And then it was Fortnite stupid and it's for kids and it's dumb and it's nothing like Minecraft. And then everybody was back to loving Minecraft again. And then, you know, now that Fall Guys and Among Us are, are taking the cake right now for, you know, games on, on Twitch and such. Now everybody's going, man, the new Fortnite season uh, is actually pretty fun. It's just like the OG days, even though the game literally has barely changed. <laughs> it, it's, it's wild what the communities of games will do. And it's the same thing that Undertale went through, right? Undertale released, it was a, a absolute masterpiece of a game, especially in terms of the, the soundtrack in my eyes. You know, the gameplay itself was not something overly exciting to me, but the game did, you know, wonky stuff. It, it closed the app on your computer and it, it did all these things that made it unique, right? And, and special for people to play. And then people get, you know, angry at Undertale now of, oh, the community is so terrible and ooh, the, just, just play games because you enjoy them and they're good. Like, is that, is that really too much to ask? Okay, what have I done? <laughs> we don't even need Lucky Rock anymore. I, you know what? Frigate, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take damn Judas's tongue. Where, how do I get out of here? <laughs> I don't know where the boss is. I'm, I'm actually extremely lost right now. I feel like I'm just wandering around aimlessly in circles. Is this, this is not the right way. Where the heck do I go, game? Where the heck do I go? Not this way. Not, no, you know what, dude? I'm in the friggin', I'm in the nether realms. That's why I can't find the boss room. Because I have to actually get the heck out of here. Where's the room for that? Is it up here? Okay, I'm actually, <laughs> I think I dis placed some of my brain cells today get me out of this world i'm outie okay <laughs> we're back we're back 
not really my greatest play of all time, all things considered. I, I am just absolutely entirely lost. That's okay. I'll find my way home. I believe there's still an item room somewhere on this floor. Uh, when I find it, I'll find it. But basically, and, and I know that I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to get a ton of people that are like, God, I hope not. Uh, but I would love to see, you know, big streamers give attention to to smaller indie games like Isaac and Spelunky 2. You know, I, I would love to see uh, Ninja go and play Spelunky 2. You know, somebody who's been pro in a couple of games go play one of the hardest games i've ever played in spelunky you know i want to see uh I, who the hell are the big dr disrespect i want to see him play uh enter the gungeon i want i want to see these big name streamers take on uh indie games right because i just think that it's it's an untouched area uh in in gaming for a lot of people I think it'd be really awesome to see. You know, you hear about some of these big name guys play these games in their off time. Like I know there's there's a streamer, Courage JD, right? Used to be a, a big Fortnite streamer. Now he does Warzone. He's on YouTube now. I'm pretty sure. Um, he had tweeted about how like his favorite game ever to play uh, is Slay the Spire. <laughs> Dude's a Slay the Spire player, but he obviously can't play it because he would lose a lot of his audience that uh, is looking for, you know, Call of Duty Warzone, right? But if we can get this exposure, and we're seeing it with, you know, Among Us and Fall Guys and Hades and all these other games, you're, you're seeing that as people are exposed to these new games, you're seeing that these games are then growing, like, a, a ton. And, and if we just gave exposure uh, to more games in the indie scene... We would find that uh, the indie scene would continue to grow. Now, as the indie scene grows, maybe that starts to be where the indie scene just implodes. And there is no more indie scene because, you know, indie indie games would turn into where a lot of people are backing them. And then they're turning into AAA companies and then you're back at square one. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it really is a, a interesting thing to think about. You already know I'll do it. I don't freaking care. What do I care? It's just almond milk. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? I'm now taking BBF, Bob's Brain, almond milk. This floor has been a, a glorious disaster for the run. Um, but frigate, we're kind of in good shape. I don't know, dude. It's just been one of those things that I've been thinking about uh, ever since Among Us got popular. And I will say, if you're sitting here going, damn, I didn't know Alexa had Among Us gameplay. You're missing out on a lot of stuff uh, by not watching my streams over on twitch.tv slash Alexa stream. Dude, this is around the time of the video where I normally have the little pop-up go up as well. This would be sick if it somehow synced up because uh, I'll totally forget that I had this conversation. It would be awesome if that synced up and right when I said that, the little pop-up to follow me on Twitch showed up. It's almost like I want to make it happen and then uh, just completely not say a word and then have everybody be like oh my god i didn't get the key piece oh he's so stupid <laughs> oops that's my bad i forgot the key piece dude i always do that with uh jacob and esau because i'm always trying to just like rush to the boss fight and i haven't paid an ounce of attention to anything going on on this isaac run uh basically like since the second floor it's been a glorious conversation today. It's not even late night with Tyler. It's just, you know, Tyler rants about random things that he's noticed in uh, pop culture recently. It's a wild world. Wild, wild world out there, I tell you. Truly a disaster this world is. There was also the presidential debate, but I don't want to touch that one with a 10-foot pole. There's been a lot of interesting things going on. Uh, NBA Finals, you know, rooting for the Miami Heat, I suppose, just because as a Cleveland fan, I would love to watch LeBron lose in the finals. I know that sounds incredibly petty, but um, I, I absolutely would love to see him lose. I also wouldn't mind if he won, but watching him lose would be better. It's like I want the guy to be considered the GOAT, but I also don't want him to win unless he's on my team kind of thing. But then, like, Goran Dragic and Bam out of bio got injured, and Jimmy Butler also got injured, so, like, there's a 0% chance that the Heat win that series. We, we can continue to pretend. And most of you are going, uh, what the hell's a Heat? Because you have no 
freaking clue what I'm even talking about. And that's, that's also completely fair. Give me a guppy item. There's no way it could give me a guppy item. Actually, I already have the guppy item that came out of a golden chest slash stone chest. Except we were in a we were in a curse room. Except it still doesn't matter because the the pool of the room is only the chest, not the. You you get what I'm saying. It wouldn't have done what we wanted it to do. Now, if I go into this one, that third guppy item sitting there. I swear to God, it is. You ready for this? You ready for this? Is is right here. Oh, you coward. I thought there was a chance. A small chance, albeit, but a chance. We're still at full HP. I feel like I'm getting hit 24-7. When, when you have, you know, generation of health uh, basically out the ass, it's insanely difficult to get hit in this game. Pretty, pretty good situation to be in. Dude, it, I find it really hard. You know, a lot of people ask me, they're like, Tyler, what are you going to do when you lose the random streak? You know, and this tends to happen with like every streak that I do. They're like, you know, what's the next series if you lose the random streak? Um, It's so difficult, right? Because there's times, and when I say there's times, I mean close to every day that I go, what if I just dropped Isaac from the channel for the next, you know, three months until Repentance comes out? And then there's that little nagging voice in the back of my head that's like, yeah, but if you drop... Isaac? What the hell series are you going to talk about, like, you know, what a kumquat is in? Right? Which, by the way, what the hell is a kumquat? Because it has to be the combination of some kind of fruit, but I have no freaking clue, right? Is it like a grape and a tangerine? Is that a kumquat? Or is it just its completely own standard uh, fruit? This is now something... <laughs> I'm so curious that I'm probably going to search it in a second. I think we definitely like killed Esau with uh, almond milk, but that's okay. Let me look up what a kumquat is. Kumquat, edible orange-like fruit. Though it resembles an orange, it's quite small, about the size of an olive. So it, it really is not a combination of something. So it's kind of like a, a grape orange. A bite-sized fruit. That's wild, dude. I currently have my, my mom bought some, uh, they're, they're called, like, sugar pears or something, and they're these little, like, fit in the palm of your hand, uh, pears. And I'm not even, I'm not even a big fan of pears, to be honest. These little things are, are really good, I'm gonna tell you. So I've just been slamming pears. I love bite-sized fruit, dude. Like, grapes are, are kinda S-tier, right? Uh, Clementines, also S tier. Dude, we don't need that. But it also doesn't hurt me at all to take it. Like, what what, what negative effect does it have on me to take it? It kills one of my red hearts. Oh, friggin' whoop. Like, it doesn't benefit me at all, but the run is so good that I will sacrifice my HP for a useless item uh, just to swag on you a little bit. I think that that's a, a reasonable thing to do with your health when playing Isaac. Do things solely for the swag upon. Dude, Donkey's Jawbone would be really fun with uh, Dull Razor. Which is also Voodoo Pin in, uh, in Anti Birth. But, uh, you know, as we look forward for, for more uh, repentance type synergies. That's one that I'll definitely end up wanting to look into is the doll razor uh, action there. It's an interesting one. Doll razor is just so good. It's still one of my favorite items in this game. It's crazy how I, I can have fa <laughs> like when you think about it, I have favorite items in a game that has 550 items in it. Like I looked at one of those 550 and went, "You're the chosen one," right? Like, there's some people that are just like, oh, I don't have a favorite item. I like all of them. And I'm like, yeah, but like, Ventricle Razor just... <laughs> I still stand by it. I think Ventricle Razor is my favorite item in Isaac. There's no item that gets me more hyped when I see it. And I think that that just means that it's my favorite. I mean, what, what really is favorite in the end? Does favorite mean... Uh, Favorite doesn't mean strongest. There's a lot of people where soy milk is their favorite, and I would argue soy milk is not the strongest item in the game. Many of you would argue it's it's 
nowhere close to the strongest item in the game, wouldn't you probably argue that it's just straight up bad? Which I would disagree. Now, almond milk. Almond milk is, is pretty bad. Arguably, it's better than soy milk, but it's still pretty bad. Uh, come on, dude. I just want the guppy item. That's all I'm really looking for. If, if you just gave me the guppy item, I would stop bugging your damn curse rooms. But you want to continue to make my life miserable. Make my day. Make my day. Make my day. Uh, dude, we're gonna... This is gonna wrap very, very heavily to the right. Because we, we can see the super secret room. Which becomes a little annoying. Double check. No red chest. We could take the... Uh, and should take the rotten heart, but... I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to because anything that makes the game easier, I'm fervently against. Don't you remember? Could have also used bombs to get the hearts. I just am struggling to care. The run is so good, dude. There's there's a 0% chance that I lose this. Which I know has bit me in the ass before and is something that I have learned to just not say while playing Isaac. Because uh, it's a great way for karma to just come and hit you like a sack of bricks but there is absolutely no way that we lose this i'm also going to come in here and we're gonna say hello hello goodbye take back cancer as it's easily better than uh teleport remote even though teleport remote has its has its place in the game couple of extremely game-breaking synergies with it in, in Afterbirth Plus. You can break big time with it in the D7. But, uh, not something that I'm too interested in right now since I do not have the D7 and uh, have actually zero chance to get it as well because it just straight up doesn't exist in this game at the current, current stance in time. So, oil well. What do I care? Get smacked. I know there's more of you. Good night. Good night. Alright. Annoying room before the Isaac fight, but it don't mean we aren't gonna have success. HP is dipped, like, a, a tiny amount. It's not enough for me to be like, oh, gotta be super cautious in the Isaac fight. Like, we're, we're still gonna smack the Isaac fight. And we somehow, they managed to open the Super Seeker room for me. What do we want in the Super Seeker room? I, I really genuinely think this is a good chance to just get, like, the one black heart Super Seeker room. Like, that's that's enough benefit for me. We'll also take this for the fee. Five bombas. Also very large bombas now. Which definitely sounds like a sexual innuendo. Uh, to give me your very large bombas. Do not show me your bumbas, chat. Okay. Isaac is absolutely toasted and not on bourbon. We outie. We outie. Okay. As soon as you get to phase three, you already know. It do be over. It's a shame we never got guppy, because I feel like we actually got two guppy items very early on this run. And I suppose there's still a... I mean, like, minuscule chance that we get it here. But pretty small. Monstro's lung is interesting. But let's do it. But then let's give that to uh, Esau. Because he also has... Dude, he's got, uh, he's got Teardrop Charm, correct? So he's getting a huge luck up, which is giving him tons of teeth. And the teeth do not go into the damage formula, I don't think. I think they're an external, uh, external to the damage formula, so they just add damage. So really, we just made Esau a beast because of this. Maybe they do go into the damage formula. I don't remember, actually. The damage formula is super, that and the tears formula are super complex and dumb. Um, and I, I haven't, it's one of those things where, like, I could memorize it, but I just actually don't care. Uh, as long as you know, like, the damage multipliers, that's all that matters. Uh, but there's a couple of ones that are, are just flat, 
flat straight damage that gets added on. Like curved horn, for example, does not play into the damage formula. So if you're at, you know, one, if you're at one damage and you take curved horn, even if you have uh, something like soy milk that obviously gives you a percentage damage down, it will still bring you to two damage with it. So those are the kinds of things. I don't remember if the, the tear effect of tough love, the teeth, applies it via the formula, which would then have soy milk or almond milk's uh, damage deduction affect it, or if it's one of the ones that it just stacks on, in which case it would be some insanely good damage because we're getting a ton of them. And bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle, which would then make it a very good synergy for soy milk as well, and I, I don't remember if I ever actually... Oh, dude, I just realized. I took Monstro's Lung. I haven't been using it. <laughs> That's why these fights are going long. We're killing all these enemies with just, uh... We're killing them with just Esau those past couple of rooms. It's a pretty bad look for me. We also have, uh... Kind of screwed the pooch on our HP for Jacob. Okay, I gotta, I gotta reprogram my brain to do some different uh, stuff here now. He, he, Jacob is having uh, a rough one on the chest. This this is when uh, the karma comes back to bite you in the ass and saying that there's a 0% chance that you lose. Because there's a, there's an above 50% chance we lose now. No, I, I actually kid completely. I think we're still fine. Okay, we're it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. I definitely am much more concerned than I was mere moments ago. Get rid of this guy first. And then that guy up there. Uh, the damage is really good. When we're actually like paying attention uh, and ensuring that we're, we're killing the enemies at hand, then things are going just swimmingly. I despise the fact that you put a greed fight on this floor. Dude, I can't believe Esau has literally all of his health. My man Esau refuses to get hit. But my man Jacob is, uh... He's in the doghouse, dude. He's in the freaking doghouse. I think it's the fact that, that Jacob is so small... <laughs> that he... Or, uh, Esau is so small that he actually just evades all of the shots, right? Like, I have him in front of, uh, Jacob. And it is still not enough. Like, it just... Bob's brain only hits Jacob. It, it, this is wild. It's an interesting, uh, interesting run. The, the small lad, tall lad dynamic has been uh, quite interesting. So here is our boss fight. We do have to make a little bit of an executive decision here. Uh, oh, that's actually very good. So we give you that. That gives you the health. I suppose, I mean, we can play this for a little bit. I, I don't even know what I'm looking for. And Esau has more luck, so let let him do this but uh <laughs> i don't even know i suppose i'm looking for a couple of soul hearts i think we're fine dude i think we're fine i think i'm getting nervous over nothing and i just got a little bit scared when we were losing the hp the rosary actually helps us a good deal mysterious paper is useless dude stop giving me useless trash I mean, that could be a Hierophant. <laughs> it was Justice. Okay, that's going to blow up the machine. It's Scissors. We don't care. Okay. Uh, just just fight, Blue Baby Dude. We are we are stacked. We are stacked. We, we will not have any issues in this fight. We're insanely strong. It's been a good run. It's been a good run. You know, Jacob and Esau, always spicy when you get them in the random streak. Always a, a possibility to end the random streak, right? Uh, but you know what? Not today. Not today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, a like on the video is much appreciated. Enjoy that nine streak, baby. Enjoy that nine streak, baby. I'll catch you guys in the next one. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.